Aha. Yes. Hello everyone, welcome back. <laughs> How are we all feeling? Yeah. Okay, this is great. So we're gonna do a bit of a quick recap just so we remember what we've been doing, because it's been a while for us since we played. So a bit of a quick recap. So when you last left off, you had gone back to your tavern for choice after the Queen had told you to go there, um, where tantrums were made, discussions, dancing, and a new member had been acquired to the party, which was Omen. Yeah. You finally got to meet the captain after a bit of banter here and there. Aboarded the Dawn Princess, which is the name of the ship, and you got to meet his crew, which is Bluebeard, the navigator, Goldblood, the head fighter, Misty Mermaid, the bar slash cook, and Zelos, the accountant slash fryhead man. So on your journey, you had found a mysterious tower, which you went into, or two of you went into. That's where you found the mimic. Three. I have all three. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. And we, and we dragged her in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got dragged into it. But you found a mimic which you destroyed and which you got the cape of billowing out of. You continued on with your sailing and on day two of sailing you found a monster which you kind of attacked, kind of ran away from. Yeah. Did a picture of both. And then the some... we should have fought. <laughs> None of us could though. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Some flirting may have happened. And mm -hmm. the night ended with two of you having some dreams. So yes. now that you've woken up, just make sure that all of your characters are fully rested. So you can click a button that says long rested if you haven't already. Yep. And we will get on with the day. Alright, so Dakota, can you roll? Yes. Let's see, your roll a roll a yeah, D twenty for me. Cool. Am I adding anything to it, or just in general? No, usually. Five. Five? Some people are me. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the weather is nice and clear. You have no issues with your sailing day. So that's positive. Can you also roll a D100 for me, Dakota? So that's... Yes, I can. Yep. Cool. 40? Did you roll the other one as well? Okay, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. You're all right. It's been a while. Yeah, you can roll it too. Oh, okay. A 20. <laughs> hmm? A 20. Okay, so, so as you guys are kind of walking around the ship, kind of doing your own thing, a rowboat filled with singing armadillos floats by. <laughs> armadillos? <laughs> yeah. They just float by. What the fuck is the armadillo again? You know the thing that rolls up into a bowl? Oh, uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's an Arbok. You know your Ferengo, the thing that gets run over? <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think you're this way again. I don't know, but like, like, I like how it's the only way. It's like, you know the thing that gets run over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's the easiest yeah. thing to visualize. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, so a boat full of armadillos. Yeah, so they Are just... They armored? They're in the <laughs> They're just rolling by. They're just chilling. That's all. It's just kind of floating past. But the day is up to you guys if you want to do anything in particular. So it's kind of if you want to do your own personal journeys or, you know, food, whatever, you do that. We're on a boat. Yeah, you are on a boat. <laughs> There's lots of things you can do on a boat. I'm kind of intrigued by these armadillos. <laughs> Did you, what do you want to do? I'll pull you there. <laughs> Like, look over the boat, like, peer over, be like, oh, why? Is this our food? Like, yeah, you can do that. Are you saying it to anyone particular, or just kind of anyone who's listening? Anyone who's walking by, if they hear me, like, anyone on the crew. Yeah. One of the crew members just hears you and goes, it's the sea, who knows? And just, <laughs> all right, just walks past. But yeah, the day is just kind of up to your own, so if you want to talk to the crew members, practice different things, if you want to commune with your gods or chat with each other, try and get to know your new crewmate a bit more, options are yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just making eye contact with me. <laughs> I'm looking forward. <laughs> Who else wants a god, Caitlin? <laughs> I mean, uh, we all do. Most of well, you do. <laughs> not necessarily gods, though. Yeah. Most of you have gods slash deities yeah. slash higher beings. Higher beans. 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 <laughs> A singular bean. I'm just gonna like draw a bean with like a crown. I'm just gonna draw a bean with a cape. Yeah, no, I'm gonna buy that. I'll draw Mr. Bean. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he's the 
so it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's fine. No, you're fine. But yeah, it's just more like it's up to you what you want to do. So is there anything in particular anyone wants to do? Kind of for me, I want to know what I like the dream I had the night or like. I kind of want to look into it and like, I might just like write a letter to some person that was in my dream kind of, I wasn't know who it was. Yeah, you can do that. So yeah, I'll just be like in my cabin writing a letter. Mm -hmm. like, no, you can take time and do that. That's perfectly fine. So you can spend time writing a letter, it doesn't matter how many hours, it's up to you. If you want to do the whole write it, hate it, throw it or whatever. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Right out. I'm just boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's too long to check out. Hair running's bad. Yeah. I'm spelling out too Yeah. Long. <laughs> There's no backspace. Yeah. <laughs> it just throws it out. But yeah, you can spend time doing that. That's easy enough. Okay. What about the rest of you? Do you guys want to do anything in particular? I will mysteriously walk to the back of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And pray. Alright. <laughs> Do you want to spend some time trying to talk to you, your god? Yeah, talk to myself as well. Which one do you want to do first? <laughs> My god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I'll just shit talk to myself. Alright, so you kind of like sit there and put out your particular items of your god's choice. What are they? Just you can have anything. Well, one's going to be my moonstone, mm -hmm. uh, one will be a gathering of herbs, and the other will be just like a little flame, a little, little candle, a little, little candle. Little, yeah. little f mm. Okay. That's it, yes. something simple. Yep. So you kind of place them out in- In a moon, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> you place them out in kind of the arrangement you do. You sit there having the sea kind of play with- I doesn't say your hair, you don't even have hair. I got a hood. Play with your hood, there you go. <laughs> But where is your point in the wind? <laughs> just like, brushes the material <laughs> as we go through the, the material just slightly ripples. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it just like slowly like flutters in yeah. the wind. And as it does, you can kind of hear someone go, Hello. Did you have a chat? Fuck their nice this time, Jesus. <laughs> I don't get that much of a response any time I do this, so Hey man, you're talking? <laughs> I'm lost for words! He <laughs> says something wrong. No, I just wanted to check in. How you doing, bro? Um, good, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. I thought I was just gonna be on my own. Nah. Gods can talk to you. Yeah, I didn't want him to. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll start, you know, maybe breaking down, you know, having a chat to him and say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so God freaked me out. I was gonna say, have you found like any clues to help me uncover my past? Yes, I I know how to, but this is a journey for yourself, and the clues are much more easier to see than you think. It's a matter of who's looking. Could have told me that like, years ago. <laughs> hey, you knew all along. It's just a matter of knowing the certain thing to help you. I. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. And they just kind of disappear, and the wind dies down. You can tell it's quiet. Speak to any god. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a good though. Diary. <laughs> you just gonna spend some time now sitting, talk, like kind of writing things down, talking to yourself. Yeah, I'll, I'll just start um, sitting down, writing to myself, and I do want to go over like just some basic herbs and all that sort of stuff that I know of and start writing it down. Yeah, that's easy enough. You can spend some time doing that. Calming. And I don't have to talk to fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> the wind just kind of goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like gives you a little tap. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, what about you two? Do you want to do anything in particular? Cool. I would probably um, move towards the front of the boat mm -hmm. and um, observe the scenery, I suppose, and like use the different senses that have been given to me. I just saw the treasure point. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Just, um, is there a way for me to say, I don't know, like 
I was gonna say upgrade, but it's like, no, that's not me. So I would probably like maybe sharpen my equipment and stuff. Um, and kind of keep in my own head and kind of ignore everyone. Yeah. So, you know, oh my god. <laughs> no. no, you can, yeah, spend some time just kind of sharpening your blades mm. and making sure they're well looked after, oiled them, or, you know, clean them, make yeah. sure they're pristine, things like that. Mm, I would probably do that and kind of tend to my thoughts and prepare in a way, like, I don't know, to talk to the deity, like, down the road, but I won't do that now. Yeah, that's all good. So, yeah, you can kind of near the front or the bow of the boat kind of have a little area so have your nice cloth on the floor and then have all your different weapons out and mm. then kind of spend time you clean them looking after them maintaining them yeah you know if you do a certain thing for them that's up to you yeah yeah i do want to make them like like better but i don't really know if i can do that on the ship at the moment so uh I mean, probably not with just like straight up sharpening. It will mm. obviously just keep them so they're not going to break on impact for certain things. But for now, it would just be more of like maintaining, looking after, things yeah. like that. But yeah. if you want to, when you get off the boat, you could look around and try and find a better sword or things like that. Yeah. That's easy enough to do. Yeah. Shai, do you want to do anything? Um, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the kitchen mm -hmm. and see if I can trade the mimic tongue for gold or silver. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the resourceful one in the group. <laughs> yeah, so you can probably go up to Misty, the cook, and just kind of chat with him. He's just kind of doing some different stuff, so he's just doing his thing. It's up to you what you want to say or do. Okay, I sort of slam the mimic tongue onto the uh, desk, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, isn't this rare? Don't you want to have this instead of that gold that's just laying around in your pocket? Nice. He he looks at it and just kind of he's gonna expect it for a minute. So roll a d20 for me and then add your persuasion. Yeah. So it will say on your character sheet. Seven, so you added your persuasion onto the roll? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so he's gonna look at it and be like, Depends, how much do you want for it? Mm, depends what you have in gold. <sighs> I mean, I can get a lot, and I have a lot. Depends on how much I want to give you, though. Hmm. Well, that's up to you, really. Oh, God. Yes, it's not with me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Mm. Alright, so he kind of keeps looking and goes, mm. I'll give you three gold for it. Any higher possibly, you know, this took a lot. I almost lost my entire arm trying to get it. So I think it would be really important if you had this. Think of all the meals you could make with this giant tongue thing. Do one more persuasion. <laughs> Imagining a giant like, cow's tongue. Essentially. Yeah, yeah, just the whole, but it'd be like purple and really yeah. big. Yeah. Uh, ten. Ten? Now you're a rush from the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> it's wood. No, it's it's like, how are you getting a rash from a pencil? Oh, it's too small. Oh. It's really awkward. Okay. Anyway, continue. <laughs> oh, good. No. Damn. You can have three, or you can try selling it when you're on land. I thought we were friends. Fine, I'll wait till someone buys it. This extremely important thing that everyone needs in their life. As I just strut away. Okay. He's just gonna kind of mumble. Shut away with like the tongue just slung over his yeah. shoulder. Yeah. 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 He's just gonna kind of mumble to himself and then find people or whatever. Then just kind of go back to his work. But yes. I would say for the tongue, are you keeping it fresh the whole time? Or are you going to find a way to like pick a little something like that? Because obviously having a fresh tongue for more than three plus days is gonna go a little bit interesting in smell. I was literally gonna say put it in ice or something. Yeah, there's probably like, again, the cook would probably have like an yeah. ice type 
bath or some description. So you could ask him again if he could put it in there. Alright, so. <laughs> <laughs> Moon walks back. <laughs> We're best friends, right? Even though I denied your offer. But you do have an amazing ice fridge situation, right? That I could put this extremely expensive yet amazing tongue in. Do you want to chuck the tongue on ice or not? Yes. Alright, chuck it in. <laughs> but I strut back. <laughs> okay. Stop strutting away. But yes, yeah, so your tongue is now on ice. That sounds weird. That's a sentence I thought I'd never say. <laughs> yeah. So, when you go to sell it, it'll be fresh then, so that will make the price a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind. Okay. Is there anything yet anyone else wants to do? No. Anything else? I'm curious. Who has the, um, the cake? Me. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. It's just there. Well. It's in my, it's in my sack. Your backpack? Or... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I call my backpack my sack. Fair. You know, to each your own. <laughs> Alright. If there's anything else that no one else wants to do, it will turn into night time. And as always, the you, know, you have dinner with the crew. And it's a very peaceful night, so nothing's going to happen. So unless anyone's got anything else, we can go to the next day. I'm good to go to the next day. Yes. Same. My god's a bitch, so yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Figure out is there anything you want to do before the next day or mm, I feel that um I don't want to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I would probably just I don't know, wander around the boat a little bit. Okay. So kinda of keeping watch and seeing if anything. Yeah, helps basically. Up. Mm. Yeah, that's completely really fine. You can mm -hmm. kind of do the walk around. Keep the edgings. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. So mysterious. I know. Mm -hmm. Alright, if that's the case, Caitlin, roll for me, please. I need you to roll a d20. Nineteen. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Hey. So Alright. Nineteen. We're all gonna die. <laughs> no. <laughs> As you all wake up in the morning, you see. What are you, don't look at me like that. As you wake up in the morning, you notice there's some clouds kind of coming around. So it looks like from just kind of looking at it and how dark they are, it's gonna be a bit of a rainy day. Shouldn't hold you guys back, but it's just kind of you know that rain. It's just raining. That's all. No thunderstorm or lightning. Okay. Just having a nice rainy day. <laughs> Caitlin, can you roll a D100 for me? Stay! <laughs> 83. 83. Wait. You okay? No. Use, no. The, use the 10 for the second number, because that's... Yeah. That's okay. I knew what you meant. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, as you're kind of continuing on with your sales, even though it is kind of dark because of the cloud and that, all of you make a perception check for me. D20 at perception. Okay, what's perception? Uh, me? So we'll go down the line. 20. 20? Oh, shit. Uh, 18. 18? 14. 14? 19. 19? I think it's a 2. You add uh, perception. Yeah, so we'd say. Sorry, I think that's 2. On it, that one. No, it's intelligence. No, it should be on here. Under your skills, I believe. Like, oh, I'm skills. under the... <laughs> Near mine. You're all good. It's, um... An extra wisdom. Mm -hmm. Perception. Plus two. I'm yeah. at 21. Nice. Alright, so three of you, my uh, Dakota, notice that there is a, a kind of uh, like a rocky island that you're gonna... It's in the distance, about like 30 plus feet roughly in the distance. Enough that you can still see it, but... Mm. You notice that there is kind of something sitting on top, but you can't see exactly what it is just because it is dark and it is kind of far away. But it does look like there's something sitting there. So it's up to you if you want to do something now or wait until you're a bit closer to kind of see. It depends what you want to do. I'm going to wait as I have slight trauma from the last time I jumped into something <laughs> without knowing. Mm -hmm. As ankle throbs. <laughs> 
the ankle would be fine. Um, I think that I will stay like near the cabin or just under shade because Omen hates the rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're all good. Aiden will just be like looking out from the window and being like, oh, nothing there. I ain't going yet. I don't know. Look. <laughs> all right. no. That's all good. No. So as you get closer to it, you can now see yeah, same yeah. description. Yeah. So from what it looks like is a kind of like a small rocky island with a treasure chest on top. Ah. <laughs> that's that's it. So and are you still looking outside, like through the window, or are you just kind of solely not looking at it? Oh no, I'm still looking because I'm just like so I'm just still kept up in my room reading books, waiting for the rain to pass because a bit like Omen, I don't like the rain or mm -hmm. anything to do with water, so I wanna stay inside the boat. <laughs> okay. So both Aiden and Tanachi will notice that there is kind of like a small plate on there. It looks like there's something either like written on there, you can't see what exactly because it's a bit far away, but it looks like something's been kind of scratched into it. So again, it's up to you if you want to look at it or not, or kind of stop and grab it, it is up to you. Last time we came into contact with a chest. Hey, it's up to you. Y'all can do whatever you want. Surely there'd be like binoculars or something on the ship. That's what I'm trying to find, like in my like. Surely, so even the captain, oh, the yeah. The kid gave us. My brain went to kaleidoscope. <laughs> yeah, you do have a spyglass that you got from the kid. Mm. Which one of us has it? I don't. Know. Which one of you has it? I, I think, think you got, got it. <laughs> I got it. I think you got it. Let me go back. Okay. Uh huh. Let me go in one more. Yeah. So every time you use that spyglass on the boat, it will give you an advantage when you roll. So you're Okay. It'll make it better for mm. um, perception. Oh, you yeah, then. Uh, since I'm still looking out the window, I'll yeah, use spy glass to look out yeah. the window in the sh under the chest. So. Yeah, you don't need to roll for it because it is closer. But you can see on the actual like plate itself, mm -hmm. it says, To disregard the avarice sin, simply speak the letters to spin. And there's some letters kind of on one of those. You know those like wheels that you kind of turn? Yeah. Mm. There's yeah. some letters on those wheels. Can you repeat that? <laughs> To disregard mm -hmm. the avarice sin, A R A and then rice. Right. Yeah. R I C E sin. Simply speak the letters to spin. Okay. Hmm. I don't really trust it to be honest. It's probably up to you. You say and um, rice. Yeah, mm. A V A R I C. Oh, Avrice. Avrice. Avrice Sin. Mm -hmm. I'm going near that chest, god damn it. <laughs> Aiden doesn't do what I speak. That doesn't mean you can't send Aiden crew or things like that. You have. I just can't get out there. <laughs> <laughs> I am curious. But I, I don't want to go out there. Should we persuade like someone else to, or even get like a lackey and get them excited and go? Be, oh my god, look at it! Would Ralmo want to go? No. I mean, you can ask. You have plenty of crewmates around. You can ask. I'll, I'll go ask. Am I pronouncing his name Ralmo? Ralmo. Ralmo. I'll ask Ralmo and be like, "There's something out there, Jess." Mm. One sec, and then as you kind of do that, he does a quick spell, and it's to detect magic, so to see if there's anything magical means on it, things like that. He kind of does that quickly, and goes, hmm, definitely something in there. Kind of magical, but I think it's more like potion side of things. Oh, no. I don't, it, it doesn't seem like a creature. So that would give up a different magic. Mm. Okay. Up to you. My curiosity. Well, it depends how we're going to open it because the R.I. Sin, that could mean you know, three different things realistically. Um, can you spell that out? I, just, I didn't write that one down. A yep. V A A V A R I C E. R -I -C -E. Mm -hmm. okay. It's an acronym, isn't it? Don't forget there are the spinny wheels with letters, so... We don't know the letters yet. You don't know the letters because you're too far away. Yeah. Mm. I see rice. Hmm. I'll still talk around and be like, do you know 
would you guys want to go out with us and look at this? Beacon sends some crew, yeah. Which crew are you, do you have in mind? I'll get some of the boys, don't worry. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> So golden you can send out some of the Golden Blood, which is part of the yeah. um, like fighting group. Oh, so basically the captain's going to stop the boat after everyone tells them to and sends off some of the Golden Blood boys to kind of go down, grab it, they just pick up the chest, bring it onto the ship, yeah. and the ship's just going to keep moving and you've got this chest. So it's up to you guys either way you want it or if you want to look closer as a group, whatever it is, it's up to you. Right now it's kind of in the middle of the deck. Move it as far away as you can from the captain and the... The, the wheel? <laughs> but there's a technical term! It's in your book somewhere. The port? No, that's... that's your Control left. is the helm. Okay, I do kind of think that. Yeah. Port is left, starboard's right. Yeah. I'm just like, what did I say one piece? <laughs> <laughs> the bow is front because you bow forwards. No. And the rear is the back. I kind of want to like... I've been to... <laughs> I want to figure out the, not the riddle, but the puzzle to the chest. Like, have a look at the letters. Yeah. I'll have, I'll investigate in the closer to Well, now that we know that it's not a living threat, my curiosity. Curiosity okay. Oh, sorry. Observe. Okay, so, do either one of you can roll an investigation yeah, check, and then whichever one of you is going to do it, the other one gets advantage. I'll do it, because I have a plus four investigation. Alright, so you get to roll twice, take whatever's the highest. Twelve. Twelve. Sorry, give me a sec. Yeah, I don't need That's what I can say Alright, so twelve. So you can see a couple of the letters. You feel like you have a decent amount of letters. Do I know the language? It is in common. Okay. So you got A B C O G E O G G like yeah G E yeah. and A B C again. So that's that's just those six. Okay. So for a repeat, it's A B C O G E. Go back. But don't forget, you can spin them. Yeah, I know. It's just like. Oh, what do you mean spin the So you know how you've got like, no, as in like this way. You know those locks oh, that you have okay. to like roll the numbers to? Yeah. So there's six. Basically we have to make a word with this? Or? Not with all those letters. You have to kind of spin and see what word you can kind of get out of it. So it's up to you if you want to spend some time or you can kind of move it again and then look, give it another check. Oh, so you have to keep playing. You keep it. playing with it until the word kind of appears. Okay. I'll I'll keep playing with it. I'll like even like Aiden will bring out all of, like his books and stuff and just sit by the chest and even though it's raining, has he has a little umbrella out so he's not in the <laughs> rain. So he's all nice and dry. Mm -hmm. And he's just gonna fiddle with the lock because he's just like, I want to know what potions are in there. So that could for me or for Aiden benefit him. And if not, keep it say you've got a chest. <laughs> Alright, so try one more time with uh, an investigation check. Was it Are you still helping? Yeah. Then yes. I'm um, I'm kind of just like hovering. <laughs> yeah. Eleven. Eleven. You still can't get it. You're close, but something just doesn't. We can feel like you're getting some of the letters, but just something doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things where you can either keep playing with it or grab some other people to help in your group. Hi. Up to you. Am mm. I allowed to grab more of the crew? Yeah, you can like try the crew. It's up to you and what you do. I was thinking of getting the navigators and the, not the boat buddy, but like... Woody, 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 woody. Mm. We could try and like solve it together if we time. Yeah, you can go and find Bluebeard if you want. I'll go find Bluebeard. I'll leave my stuff where it is, but Loki would just sit on my books and be like, don't touch. It's kind of like guard cap? Yeah, guard cap. The guard cap's up. <laughs> just imagine the cat being like, Shh. Yeah. yeah. So you can find Bluebeard, bring him back. So, okay, try one more time with still advantage. Because there's a particular DC you need to kind of get through. That was much better. <laughs> okay. Try one. Alright. 
So those, you seem like there are certain letters that could make a word. So the letters are O-G-E-U-N-H. G-E-O-N-H? Yep, so O-G-E-U-N-H. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna solve this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can. We're all solving it. Okay, you can bring it to the rest of the group. Oh, yeah, because I'm the only one that knows. I know. Well, yeah, you the two I of you know. I was there the whole time. Yeah, the two of I'm you know. I'm literally standing behind you watching you. Pearl is just in the corner observing. Like, we, she doesn't really give a shit. To yeah, be honest. But, but I'm kind of like just hovering behind mm -hmm. you, like. It's kind of helping with like the weather, making sure that too much rain. She's, she's, she's so tall. She's, she's like, yeah. With your with your cloak, you're just like, it just kind of like, yeah, the billowing cloak just kind of <laughs> occasionally flicks it off. Yeah, so you can come as a group. Cause yeah, I think I'll regroup everyone and be like, this is what we found so far. You got any ideas? Hey, these are the letters. Chess hands. Chess hands. <laughs> question is though, is it like a specific terminology like for something or is it like more towards like the poem, I guess? If um, that makes sense. The poem, I still mm -hmm. have it written down. Combination of both, it's more like, this word all of you, you all know this word, both as character and as humans. Great. But um, <laughs> mm -hmm. it also fits the poem as well. Okay. So, it was Agri's Sin but it also said like speak the truth. Yes. Yeah, so not. Yeah. Wait, agrice or avrice? Avrice. A V. Avrice. No, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So to disregard the avrice sin, simply speak the letters to spin. Hmm. Okay. See, I wrote that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm happy to keep repeating stuff, and that doesn't bother me. That's all right. Okay. That's that's fair. Mm -hmm. It's like that friggin' um, show where you have to try and spin around the letters and make it work. <laughs> Most shows with mysteries. That's the weekend. Come in after you. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. See, so I can create words with the U and H. Mm hmm. I don't know if I'm meant to put both together and put maybe the O G E after it. Yes. Or do I break it up? Scary. That was dramatic. <laughs> I know, I got scared of my hair. Um, so, O-G-E-U-N-H all creates one word. Oh, all creates the one word. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. I don't have to keep it in an order. Yeah. yeah you said the box is going to help. <laughs> what are you looking for? A clue. Okay, <laughs> Scooby, <laughs> off you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like... I'm just like trying to be good. I feel like it's something relevant previously. Well, it depends. If you want, try to code. You both can make an intelligence roll because this is your first time looking at it. Mm. I was going to do a detect magic on the chest. That was already done. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a living being. That's all right. I think I might oh, do an intelligence yeah. roll. Yeah, you you both can. It's up to you if you want to or not. Yeah. In the back corner, so no one looks like. Well, it doesn't look like she's interested, but she actually is. Oh my god! You, you're just right, kind of like you're kind of, um, <laughs> sitting off into the scenery, but you're like, mm. it's not like I don't like you or anything. It's not like I like you, Baka. Mm. Uh, Where did the map go? I had a map. Where's intelligence? It's a good question. Uh, I got twenty. Twenty? Natural or with added stuff? Oh, oh with added. Okay. Where'd you get to go? Wow, I literally just had it in a- wait, where did it go? 13. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I was looking- 13. <laughs> 13. I saw that in my room. Like, <laughs> you're all good. Okay, um, so you're still kind of confused. You feel like you're close to the word. Um, yeah. Yusha, you know for a fact that you know what the first letter is straight away. You just been looking at it and kind of playing with it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the first letter is E. Okay. So E is your first letter. Actually, it's a good thing we're giving it to her. Like, just, uh, like, yeah. a sight. <laughs> just in general? Yeah. <laughs> she the word. She the wordy. She, she the wordy. wordy. Oh, like, I'm just imagining, like, she's going to be like, she the wordy. <laughs> she the wordy. <laughs> what if she the wordy? I'm trying to just be like, the supportive mom in the back, like, she the got wordy. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yes. I'm going to test. 
<laughs> it feels like my brain is not computing this. I feel like this too. Uh, see, this is just, okay, this is me, like, talking to you guys as friends. Once you see this word, you're gonna be so yeah. annoyed. I, I know, know that is a for. fact. Well, just Can we just have a general thing of, like, is it in, like, our daily lives as well? Yes. Jada yeah. says this a lot. I put on everything you've ever said now. <laughs> <laughs> Chai tea? Mm -hmm. Did you know? This doesn't stop with E. <laughs> <laughs> to disregard the average sin, simply speak the letters to spin. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just wrote enough. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> I'm cheating. Oh. I just yeah, wrote I'm just checking the spelling because I suck at spelling, <laughs> but I'm good at writing. Did you? Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> I just wrote enough. Yeah, that's Alright, any of you guys saying this out loud, like talking to her, or are you just solely writing it? I guess I'm kind of mumbling, Thanks. but also like trying to pipe in when I think you I got it, and then I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. So I'm like, enough! <laughs> well, as you say that, the chest kind of goes, Ah, Oh my gosh. Why you sound like that dude from Patty? I just probably look like it. You but, see, like, like Omen, like she's running out with like the map. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Holding up against her. I know how to figure this out without trying to crack my brain in half. E. N. So <laughs> 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 E N. U. Oh, I think I can do it. Do you know how to spell? O. H. G H. Ding. Oh my god. Enough! <laughs> I had it, but I thought like it was like not the right thing because it wasn't all of the words. Oh, you okay, gotcha. no, okay. no E in it. In enough. <laughs> Is there? No, the no, beginning no. letter! There is a rope of mending, Ooh. a potion of animal friendship, and a potion of water breathing. I wow, like that. animal friendship one, please. I pull this. <laughs> okay, I do so like So you can the just see them kind of seeing yeah, there. So you can look on... Um, I can create water. No, you breathe in water. What? No, I, oh, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, I, can I can do a spell that's create water, mm. there's but that's the... Yeah, aside from the potion. There's That's a, why I kind of it. There is a spell later on where you can just have water breathing, but... So, rope of mending? Rope of mending. Mending. Mm -hmm. And then... Animal control? Potion of animal <laughs> friendship. <laughs> animal control. <laughs> animal, <laughs> animal friendship. And a potion of water breathing. So you can find all those on DD Beyond. And then mm -hmm. water yes. And then you also just have a chest as well. It's only a small chest that's found. Can you sell a chest? I mean, you could. This one's only like a simple wooden chest. There's not many too many details other than the gold plaque that had the inscription and the I wheels. Need, I need gold plaque? I need <laughs> it's up to you though, because even if you wanted to like keep the chest as your own and then have, because you can relock it again. So if you want to have that as your own, that's an option. But it yeah. just means you have to carry it. But it's I just want to clarify really who's taking what items. Mm. Well, it depends. Who's I'm interested mm. in the potion of water breathing. Mm. I, I don't like, know. I would like the animal friendship, so could I have other plants that kind of suit? What was the rope? Sorry? Mending. Rope of mending. Uh, Wrap it around it and commend anything. Oh, that Wonder Woman's rope. Love it. Yeah, you know, you're trying to hang yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll take the rope and you take the breathing. Yeah, we'll I'll breathe. take the chest. <laughs> Aye. There you go. Agreement. Yay. <laughs> yep, so if I'm you... I'm going to try to sell the chest again. Just buddy, friend. <laughs> buddy, <laughs> please Look, do. I've got the tongue, you want the chest. <laughs> oh my god, you're like, buddy. Put your tongue in the chest and be like, it's presentation. <laughs> so then, watch out. Oh my <laughs> yeah. I have the teeth. Yeah. So it's up to you if you want to like get it in like actually checked and then like, I can give the exact descriptions or you can just look it up. Either one. 
I'll just look it up in other words. Mm, yeah. I think. In well, other words, fucking do it yourself. <laughs> well, yeah. Because I can give you a piece of paper, but it's all right. <laughs> so on your on the side where you add your inventory, it's just there. See, I'm on the I'm on the app. Oh. Yeah, I've been on the app the whole time. I mean, you can still do it on there. Yeah, it's just. Mm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the tongue back and some of the ice and then put it in the chest, like a portable freezer. Ooh. Smart. Yeah, you can definitely do that. So you can kind of go back down and take some ice and make your own mini fridge in a way. Yeah. <laughs> a portable fridge. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Great, we have an SP now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I love how that, how to make all the, eh, yeah, we just have that. Okay, where the fuck do I have it now? Your item? Yeah, because I'm in equipment. <laughs> you search, and then you add. You can find the search bar, but I'm um, more than happy. Oh yeah, I forgot I have. Are you still on the app? Yeah. I think you might have to just do it online. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can have one of you write down everything, and then you can say who has what. It's kind of I have it written down, but I'm also just going to put it I, I want to Yeah, that's all good. If you want, I can kind of give you guys cards in a little bit. I've got mine in here and a bit on you. I just realised Corliss doesn't have that much stuff that she's been picking up on the, on the way, so it's like... We'll see how we go. We'll start picking up some, a few bits and pieces. Yeah. I think Omen's a bit of a hoarder looking at this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Just a... Yay. I collect random... I collect taste. I collected a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta try a tongue. So, so just so, like... very tough. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, you're fine. I was gonna say, just so, like, you guys know what the rope and mending does. So, you can cut this 50-foot uh, coil of rope. In any number of small voice pieces, voices, voices, voices. voices. <laughs> and then use an action to speak the command word of your choice, and then the pieces will knit back together. Yep. Yes, Literally wrap it around, say it, and it's good. Yeah, so the pieces must be in contact with each other to obviously mend. You can't just yeah. say a name miraculously mend. mend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if you lose a piece or a piece is destroyed, it will just kind of, it will just won't come back. Yep. So you know, let's say you cut 10 pieces off, it disappears, then it goes down to 40 feet. Okay. So. Cool. I'll do that. Okay, because I don't actually know which one. There it is. I found it. Oh my god. This is painful. Yes. I'm going to add tongue with chest in it. Yes. My stuff. You can add all of your stuff in. That should be all good. Okay. So now you have all of those items. Anything else you want to do for today? If not, we'll go on to day five. Um, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Aiden's tired. Okay, oh don't let me. Aiden's been out in the rain all day. <laughs> tired and sleepy. Looks like, like a cat. <laughs> they don't want to come up. Go for it. Oh my god. Yes. Shower tongue esky in the bedroom. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. And then, just so you guys know as well, the potion of animal fri friendship. Basically, you drink the potion and it does the same as casting the spell. So yeah. You don't have to cast it. Yeah. So, the potion of water breathing is breathing underwater. Yeah, for an hour. <laughs> well, for one hour. Yes. Mm. So, for the animal friendship one, it's the spell, or the potion, this one, lets you convince a beast that you mean no harm. The chosen beast that you can see within range, or for that one, to drink. Mm. It must see and hear you. If and then for a turn intelligence, it will fail. If not, it has to succeed a saving throw. But basically, it just becomes your buddy for an hour. Yeah. What a bear. <laughs> okay. I want naked. So depending on also how the uh, how the creature works with it, it can either be an hour or twenty four hours. Okay. So it depends on how you kind of do with it. You could go even better and go owl bear. <gasps> I'm getting an owl bear. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, I've got a, I've got my character's gonna pick up something soon, so. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Question. Yes. I can't find the rope. <laughs> I can only find, um, like, you know, just either common rope or like other kind of stuff on the website, so. You can put in the two potions because the rope, it does pop up, but I have to kind of fix it because it's 
I'll explain after, but yeah, mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. If not, I'll just write it down for now. Just, yeah, write it down for the moment, and then I'll kind of fix that up. Because it's part of, yeah. Okay. I'll explain later. Yep. But yes, so if nothing else is going to happen, then it will be the next day, which is day five of your sailing. So you have one more day left. So we'll go back. Alyssa, roll the d20. Hey, hey, drop it. Yeah, that's all good. Um, all right. Ten. What did you say? Eight or ten? Eight. Sorry, my brain was like reading different things. What do you want to hear? Um, what you got? Eight. Eight. Okay. Good dad. No, it's all good. I want you to roll another. Roll a d8 for me. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> is it a D eight or a D nine? It's a D eight. That's a D nine. There's a D ten. That's a nine. Okay. And there's a zero. Y'all can roll a D ten if you want. If it's easier. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's D seven. Eight. Seven. That's where I put the highest number on the top. That's what I did there. Mm -hmm. but it, that's a six. Okay. So all of you will gain, and then all of you roll a D ten. You me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ten. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
No, no. So I see you got the kids' meal and yeah. got the chicken. <laughs> What bones are you choking on if you're a vegetarian? I'm... Wait, what's the word we use? Salad bones. Pescatarian? Yeah, I'm trying to get a fish. I'm thinking it's eating that too. Aiden. 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 Aiden can be whatever he wants, is what I was going to say. Anti pescatarian now. Alright, there you go. Do you have three fish meals? Did the cooking change your mind? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is there anything else? I'll give no. my fish number, Loki. 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 Nothing else will go on the last and final note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Shire. Roll a d20 for me. Oh god. Uh, 17. 17. 17, 17. Alright, roll a d8 for me. Or the weird triangle one that's not completely flat. Not no, that's, that's not that's completely flat. <laughs> like that one. Yeah, that's it. Five. 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 Who knows, it might be the weather, it could be a god trying to help, you don't know, it's not with the wind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you get to shore and it oh, is... Nice. Sorry. No, you, you can speak up. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I was, no. just, I was just going like, well it could be mine, mine likes, mine likes wind. Apparently, it likes to slap me with it. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, it's a little bit better. You kind of get to the shores and it's roughly, because you got there a bit earlier than expected, so about 1pm. So you guys are rocking up at that time. You can tell based on the sun's direction, things like that. Mm. But as you're kind of pulling up to the docks, you have arrived to Tora. You finally reached land. Woo! And because of that, y'all can all level up to level three. So you're going up a level. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so you can either do that now or after it's up to you or in break, either or. So. <laughs> so. Yes, means more spells for you. Oh, it's, like, oh. it's only the level two ones. Am I allowed to do the level three? Because I no, think it's not. It's the level two. Yeah. How do you do it? So, if, ah! so if you're on your D and D Beyond, what you can do is oh, I got a new thing. So, <laughs> yeah, you'll get some new things, which is exciting. Basically, you just click that on your page, and then it should say levels, and then you go look up one. Uh, yeah, that that sounds great. <laughs> Do you want me to assist? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you click on that. Oh, hang on. No. Edit character. And then... Should I have it just here? Uh-huh. I am level 4. Uh, go back to level 3. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Action. Action. Oh, good. Right, could you level me up? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can do that for if you want. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Scotty. <laughs> Is there a particular one you want to go up in more? Mm. Surprise me. Surprise? Alright, easy enough. Oh boy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, there will be some slightly new stuff depending, but most of you should be all a good. I just found a tail. Yeah, some of you need to Alright. Okay, you're all done now with yours. Try. So you are finally off the damn scene. Thank you. I don't know. that. <laughs> so just so you know, Shai, you've now got 19 hit points. So you've gone up a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. Just so you are aware. Oh, so that means from the food we got, that can also make that go up. Yes, so that will last until the end of tonight. Those foods. But yeah, so normally your HP should go up and Yay. depending on how you work, you might get more spell slots or things like that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know what can I? I can double check. I have been missing it. It's good to see like 24 hit points instead of 17. I have to admit it. Oh, yeah. I was going to say. Mm. 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 <laughs> Just saying. Alright, so now that you're all officially level 3, it's exciting. You think it's gonna happen. Alright, so, 
as you pull up to the doctor tour, you can see some humanoids kind of just walking around, doing their own thing. You can see at the end of the pier what looks like kind of like a house, but missing the front of it. So you assume maybe it could be like the dock master would be there or someone that looks after the boats is there. Hmm. You notice from just kind of looking around, it the island itself seems to be lots of like browns and yellows and kind of lots of earthy tones in those sense. So you haven't really seen any greens. Even what people are wearing is all very browns, yellows, beigey colours. No. That entire vibe. Yeah. <laughs> but um Dawn's. Yes. So up to you guys if you'd like to get off or not. Oh, I think we have to. Well, it depends yeah. if you want to kind of get off right now, or wait, or do whatever, it's up to you. Can you drop them on time? No, you can. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Um... <laughs> as you're all dropping yourself, it's all good. It's my pen, Okay, but as you kind of figure things out, the captain's going to kind of walk up to all of you and go, So, so we need to give the dock master um, some things, let them know we're here, paperwork, issues, you know, all that stuff. Uh, give them some coins so that the ship won't be destroyed, stolen, you know, blown up. It happens a lot more than you think. So, does anyone in particular want to come with me, just so we can kind of sign some documents and whatnot? I'll go! Alright, let's go, little one. So, he's just going to kind of walk with you. So she's just going to take you to the dock master, where you should just sign some forms to say, like, yes, the boat's going to be kept here. And by one of your group name is. You know we are the flames! <laughs> so, <laughs> knowing that you need a group name, I'm gonna say you're gonna go back to the group and discuss it. Okay. So you. I run up, I jog happily to the group, being like, guys, guys, it's we have something to do. We have, we have to make a group name. Team name! Oh, all the names. And while you guys figure that out, we're gonna go on breaks. So they have some time to figure it out as well, and just kind of do a couple of things. No, we'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Cool, cool. Yay! Right, okay. Now, but so I'm gonna give you guys obviously some time to figure out what your team name is, or group name, because it's one of those things where you see the games where it's like you know, once you got that, that's it, that's your name. Fuck. So, oh God. Clovis has commitment issues, but he doesn't <laughs> want to do that. Mm. Is it Clovis or Dakota? Both. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> You're like, yes. I just can't come up with this. It shall be named Kaka. 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 I'm leaving. <laughs> Kaka, bitch. Oh, if you God. want to, you can name yourselves whatever you want. I just thought we'd have a quick little break so you guys can also figure that out. Mm -hmm. And the charge that I Yes, and get things charged and what's not. Can we critical roll? No. <laughs> the mighty nine! Hey. Hey. The, night, the mighty four! Oh god. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, there's only seven of them, their team. <laughs> the mighty ten! <laughs> no. So, the decently average. <laughs> yeah. Also, I don't know when, but let me in your serenity teapot. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. I just need to buy something from you, man. Yeah. yeah. And I'll get out. Yeah. What did I. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I went to College of Law as a bard. Nice. I mean. <laughs> Damn, you're an advanced chicken. Oh, so what? <laughs> Proficiency is showing you gotta choose one. Oh, easy. Easy. Choose instrument. Mine is. Bagpipes, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> if you had bagpipes, I would just kick you off the boat. <laughs> it be the The layer. Cool. Alright. That's everything you need, Shai. Uh. Cool. Mate, oh, that's back handy. You better stop. Upper back handy. What? Boy. 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 It's like, but please. I'm just curious, you know what I mean? Yeah, probably fine. Mm. Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. 
Thank you. All right. And we are back. So, just before break, they were trying to figure out what their group name is. So, have y'all decided what your group name is? Yay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes? No. Yeah? <laughs> Alright, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> On the count of three. <laughs> One of you can just say it's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, good, good, you got it. No, you can say it. I mean, Quilla. We are the Valkyries of Zanzara! Woo! Yeah. Alright, Valkyries of Zanzara. So that is now written down in your official documents. So, you get all the paperwork sorted and you, this won't be taken out of your inventory but you'll have a gold coin that'll be there so it's kind of like a little fee type of thing so when you come back and use a boat you'll get the gold coin back but yeah. that's all good. Just a deposit. Yeah, kind of thing like that. So as you kind of all come back as a full group, you notice that the weather is bright, warm and sunny, no clouds anywhere. It's almost, it's almost like a peaceful experience. You feel relaxed. If you want to be precise, the temperature is roughly 26 degrees Celsius or 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit if you're in America. There's so. a chance of rain. <laughs> <laughs> That's your weather forecast. That's the <laughs> green the easterly direction. Yeah, <laughs> green. <laughs> now, um, so... What would you like to do? You can explore the pier more, kind of look around, you can discuss with your group what you want to do. So what you going to do? Nope, I don't want to go first. Alright. Um, I will look around for any um, types of shops or something like that to see if anyone would buy the um, mimic tongue. Yeah. So you can roll a perception check. Mm -hmm. uh, six. So it looks like where you are seems to be mainly just the pier. So you haven't really gone inland at all. It's just kind of the boat. You can see kind of humanoid type of creatures on the beach, kind of like playing in sand, but there's no like actual proper like buildings or things like that okay. so you probably have to go inland a bit more to do that yep. but does anyone want to do anything else or kind of look a bit more it's up to you mm. <laughs> i think i'm okay yeah pretty chill bit jet lag or boat boat mm. lagged boat jet lag but lagged sea legs what's it called oh Sea shanty. <laughs> oh my god. Land legs? Yeah, it's called like getting your land legs back. When mm. you've been on the sea too long. Alright. Okay, if no one's got anything to do on the beach, you can kind of watch. You, when you're kind of like watching people, you can see like where you need to go to go inland because this is your first time coming to the island for all of you. Yeah. So you can ask for directions and some will kind of point you to the way. So the only way to go inland, it seems to be walking as there's no form of transport around except some of the humanoids are dragon carts but they look more for like food or item transport you know things like that so the terrain around you looks quite sandy with some solid trees around here and there but all of the leaves are yellow and brown so can all of you check does anyone have an intelligence higher than 13. Um. okay we can do that so if you look, so if you look at what your intelligence is, it should say like what the number is. I can bring it up if necessary. I think that. Oh, sorry. Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh my god. Yeah, all good. Fifteen. Fifteen. My intelligence should not be fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> After that. Um. Do you add the plus? No. Oh, it's uh, just fifteen. Twelve. Okay. So everyone accepts. Uh, you, Omen, would know that actually all of you who got higher than 13, roll a nature check for me. Is that a d20? Yeah, so roll your d20 and then add your nature, which is under your skills. Under my skills? Yes. Oh, wait, would you add the plus one to the intelligence? Uh, no. For this one, it's just kind of a straight one. Oh. Doesn't matter too much. 16. 16. 17. 17. Really? What'd you get? 9. 9. 9. Okay, so. Aiden and Tianji, you would know in particular, because it's just for fun, but the trees are in the Dichot hardwood family. So D-I-C-O-T, 
D I C O T, hardwood family. Yep, hardwood family. These are actual trees in real life you can look at if you want. Mm -hmm. But it's just a type of fa wooden family. That is, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you look around, some more of the humanoids kind of landing in the sand or running around towards the ocean, splashing some cool water on each other, and just kind of having fun. So, you're going to continue in. So, it's about a day's travel into the main city as it is mainly kind of a sandy terrain. It is kind of like a desert in a way, but not as hot. Mm. So, as you keep going closer and closer into the city, you guys can kind of have a small talk if you want. If you want to chat through anything, you can. If not, I can kind of keep going. It's up to you. No, not for me. I'm in a little world of peace. I'm probably in a bubble. I don't really have anyone to talk to here, so I'd rather know more about the mission thing. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Omen's just kind of looking around at the moment, just trying to uh, gather us around and just yeah. figure out what's going on. That's all good. So on the way there, you see a cellar kind of strolling down the street. You know, so the cellar has animals. So this cellar is a very tall, skinny tabaxian woman. So tabaxian is kind of like, imagine like a tiger or a lion. It's like the cats in Skyrim. I would literally yeah, that. Yeah. similar to that. So she is five foot ten inches and she has a variety of cages on a cart. So as she kind of goes past you, she's gonna say like, in the cages there's big birds, small birds, squirrels, tiny cats, puppies. They flash around, they might stay, they might go. Y'all want any? I'm, I'm, I'm still, I really have my own companion. Thanks, work. Kind of looks at him and goes, You've been feeding him? Yeah. What are you feeding him? Fish. No, he hates fish. <laughs> 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 that was a test. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You've been having some of these, like, Scooby Snacks. Can I pet them? You might buy it, but you could try. Let's see. I'm going to see them bite me. <laughs> <laughs> No. So she kind of grows up and gets very small, and goes very quiet next to it, does the put the hand out and let him sniff. She rolled a 19 so she should be fine, but kind of, like he just kind of sniffs it, kind of just looks at her, doesn't do much other than that. He just stares at her like, who are you? What do you want? And just pats it and lets it go. Then kind of stands back up again and then goes, so, did anyone like anything in particular? No thanks, I don't really believe in caging animals and stopping their freedom. Touche? That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty deep. <laughs> <laughs> My damn. Are the two, you want anything? I don't know if this is where, where else would it be fine, but... Oh, you could, like, have a look at what's in them or yeah. like, in the cages. Well, can I, so I'll ask, um, the shopkeep, do you have any hybrids? Yeah, so what we got in here, for a quick run now, we have birds of different sizes. We have squirrels, baby cats, baby dogs, and we have this, only this one bird, it's a weird hybrid type of thing, but it's like white in nature. Yeah. <laughs> so this is working. <laughs> so, depending if you guys want anything, they will have different cost amounts. So, so I guess I I wouldn't even ask about cost yet. I'd say how do you treat the animals? Because I look a bit closer and I can see it doesn't look too good. Well, I don't know, does it? Not to what I could see. What can you see? I see animals in cages mm -hmm. and they're a little bit roundy. Are they? Do you want me to roll for it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do I roll? Roll a d20 and add like over aggressively like yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> add either animal handling or nature. So, five. <laughs> Is that including your animal handling or yeah. nature? Yeah. They look pretty good. good. Nature. Honestly, they look chill. They look chill. Where did you source these creatures? <laughs> we have a lot of animals around. This, the cages are solely for transportation only. So how do you keep them within reach? Just um, one. I'll show you. So she goes and opens up all of the cages that have all the birds in them and really they all just kind of go across her shoulders. 
and just gone there. <laughs> and she kind of just looks at them, grabs some food out, and hands it to them, and goes, When you're good to the pets, they tend to stay with you. I kind of like this one. So, mm. and she kind of just does a quick, like, and they all fly back into their cages. <laughs> That's just quick, sorry. <laughs> and she goes, I'm happy to do the same for the rest. I can let them all out if that makes you feel better. The strange hybrid, can you let that one out? Sure. She kind of goes up to it, opens the cage, and immediately it just kind of again sits on her shoulder. Kind of just looks around as well. And just kind of looks at you. You don't look like you got death in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but she just, yeah, she just kind of pets the back of it and goes, See? Mm. Very good. If you give them their favorite foods here and there, they'll stay with you a bit more. And heads up some seeds and put the back of her many pockets she has with different foods. How much is that one? This one. Kind of keeps painting us. Mm. I like that you're taking wanting the good care for them. Oh, no. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> How much do you think would be a good price for it? Hundred bells. No, I don't know. Bells. Bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> no, I've never learned I've always learnt to never start the price. Touche. This is a real bothering in me, I should go out. Yeah. Um This bird I would say oh, been around for a little bit. I'm gonna say ten gold. Nah. Not for 10 gold. You can barter down if you want. I'm getting rid of I'm sorry, I'm continue. Not for 10 gold. I could leave him in your capable hands. Or I could take him for three. For five. Add your persuasion, roll a d20. Oh, fuck, I Oh, I got a 16. What's your persuasion? Oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Mm-hmm. Freaking go on, move. 20. 20? Then. How about this? You can have it for 7 gold, and I'll give you a pouch of food to go with it. How much does uh, his things typically cost? In the pouch of food? Just in general, market wise. How much would you get them for? For the food, depending on if I want the favourite food or not, if I'm giving you the favourite food, that would normally cost me about, yeah, two gold, because you want them to like you, so I try and get the best for them. I don't like giving them cheap shit that you find randomly at bars. (laughs) It's up to you. Um, <laughs> 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 my mind, my mind's just thinking. So, how were, well, what would you suggest in, like, me transporting said a manal? <laughs> I'm an So, for this one in particular, should be fine to stay on your shoulder. If you had a home of some sort, then it could stay there, depending on what you're doing, of course. You know, if so definitely st- not fit for just standing by while watching me do combat. <laughs> well, if you're going to stay in a tavern for a while, it could stay in the room of the tavern. If you're going on a ship, it could stay on the ship. Kind of be a watchful eye. It really depends on what you're doing. You say seven gold? I said seven gold. Was that the lowest? You'll go? Mm-hmm. With the seeds. His with, favourite seeds. With the favourite food, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just pissing yourself. <laughs> With You're the favorite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's one. Because I yell at like I'm stupid. No, I'm just like, <laughs> like, like, you want the bird or not? <laughs> <laughs> Six, and I'll take him right now. Six, it is. So, mark off six gold from your inventory. Yep. Yeah. And you can have your bird. Yeah, I have him naked! <laughs> there you go. I don't like that naked. 
Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I purposely named Nikki. That is correct. You did that. Excuse me. Shit. Wait, whoa. Let's just change that. Was that just the bird? Like, <laughs> 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 like I've been released mm-hmm. from. Singularly trying to get out the whole time. Mm-hmm. Nah, so now you have your bird. So you do have to look after it. Yeah. So it does need to be fed and, you know, not incinerated. Okay. Fucking sorry. Oh, you don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, no, I will fight you. Would anyone like? <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Would anyone like anything else? No. You don't have it. What the fuck is it called? Bell. Owl bear. Owl bear. Owlbear. Owlbear. She kind of looks at you with this look of high concern. She goes, y- "You know that's a beast, right? That that likes to." Kill you. I'm seeing this time I'm gonna ask for an owlbear. <laughs> I'm an owlbear. <laughs> <laughs> you have an owlbear? Mm-hmm. Y'all know what an owlbear is? A big fluffy bear with an owlbear. Yeah. <laughs> it also could probably kill you and then some just by stepping near you. It's okay, I'll take my own. I. Y'all are a crew? Alright, mm-hmm. cool. I do have a question. Yes. Are you aware of any other like stores for like equipment or potions around? Oh yeah. No, we have tons of those back in this in the town. They're not exactly like, you know, proper buildings per se. It's more of a stalls and things like that, but we still sell stuff like that, yeah. Mm. Cool. We just have to go in a bit more. I'm just kinda going back to go to different towns and cities and explore a bit. Cool. Mm-hmm. That's all I wanted to ask. Easy enough. Alright, if nothing else, she'll kind of give her little nod and kind of walk off. I tilt my head. I tilt my head to you, my lady. And like, as we're walking off, all of a sudden I say, yikes, she was catty. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting her to be like, oh, she was yummy. To be like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> Ding. Oh, no. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't get the score roll. <laughs> <laughs> the squirrels. So yes, um, so we're gonna, you guys are going to keep walking in and you see that there's lots of humanoids around. As you notice, kind of looking around, there's no like humans, elves, anything. They pretty much any of you look like the closest would be Omen. Some of them look like you. Mm-hmm. This town seems to be mainly like animal type humanoids, I guess, in the most bluntest way to put it. So they all either look like, like tigers walking around, a couple of birds walking around. So the taxman, like the taxman woman, she looks. You, know, you see a lot of like her type around. It's a lot of mixtures of like animal type humanoids. Mm. It's not really. No. Aww. That's that's being racist. No, I'm saying these turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I already said these turtles. No, there isn't really any of the turtle races here. Aww. It's mainly like birds or cats. Those types of races seems to be around. You can see that when kind of looking around the town. You also notice that this town in particular, like she kind of was suggesting, there isn't really any proper buildings. It's all like, when you imagine, kind of like a flea market in a way, with a little like stalls. Hmm. So think of that, but all the stalls are wooden and you know people are selling to each other. You can hear the, the yells of, hey, get your free fish, like free fish and all this stuff, you know, like random yeah. things being yelled out. But it seems to be all a place that either was set up very quickly or could be dismantled very quickly. Mm. Seems to be a very like easy place. So you can notice that too. And then uh, Quillith, you seem to notice as well that there is a kind of like a large, almost gym type structure. It stands out a lot because it's the only structure kind of around, mm. but it seems to be quite further back. So it seems to be like lots of stalls and then that. So you would have that on your map somewhere. I know one of you has a map. I have the map of you, Zanzara. I have the map one of you Zanzara. should. I think has the map of Tora. If not, then you can find a map of it. Okay. I've only got the shit. Yeah, do that, roll that. Mm. That one? No, I got it. Yeah. That's I did that. That one's the Tora. Yeah, Tora. Yeah, Tora. Oh. Yep, yeah, so Tora is where Tora. you are now. Yeah, so if you kind of look on the map. You can see kind of like the big structure. 
obviously hard to explain, but you should you can kind of see it on the yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Fine. You got you two take that one down there. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that big structure is what you know to throw away, Quilla, just because of like. Do you mean the arena? Or? Yes, the arena. Oh, okay. So that's like your that what kind of sparks your interest the most out of all of it. Oh, okay. Cool. cool. The <laughs> <laughs> Just using them as yeah. paperweights. Yep. But yeah, so you can kind of notice that. So is there anything in particular you guys want to do in the town? Kind of stalls, things like that? Well, the reason I think we suggested this in the first place was because we're trying to find gems. So we're trying to find invest like, questioning about, like, what kind of gems have there been in these stolen or anything mm. like that in the area. That's the whole point of this quest. <laughs> Right. We were going to ask about like the crown. Wait, what was it? No. It, it was, was a jewel that was from the crown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just saying. I'm looking at you like. You haven't built an omen on this. She kind of just went along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Omen or oh, yeah, omen. Nothing. By the way. I <laughs> <is this. laughs> mm. So as maybe like as we were like kind of mumbling, maybe you pipe up going, what the fuck? <laughs> maybe just we like, should have huh. talked about this on the ship, but oh well. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Azul, dude. Well, I'm probably going to go my separate way for now and look for other stalls that might have like um, tools for like lock picking and more training kind of equipment. Those types of things, yeah. yeah. So you guys are kind of all splitting off or are you going to go as like half and half? Well, I'm going to do investigation if there's like a... It was like a this, this place was a mine area for diamonds or like gems, right? Or... From what you can see right now, it solely just looks like it's, this sounds weird, but literally it's just like a desert with like a stalls. It's just okay. like very flat at the moment, Y'all except for the one structure. Why they kept calling it Zahara. <laughs> We're not in Zahara. I know. Then Zahara was I know. I know. I'm just saying. Yes. So that's desert. kind of that it's kind of realm, <laughs> but not as hot as a desert. I'm mm-hmm. I'm probably just before I do anything gonna grab supplies like water and like food because we're in a freaking like this. Mm-hmm. And that change into my summer outfit. So you're gonna put on your summer clothes? Yeah. Okay. I bought them the wrong section but Aiden doesn't care. <laughs> Alright so you have your summer clothes on. Yeah. We'll do your shopping in a second. Anything in particular you want? Okay so Omen finally gets like really excited about being here. So then what she does is she stands right in the middle puts down the chest and then she <laughs> starts trying to get money by um singing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so is she having the chest open to people throw money into, or is it yeah, a... Yeah, kind of like the tongue and stuff is hidden <laughs> underneath. Yeah. Really okay, like you put another layer of ice on top. Yeah. You're like busking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you can do that kind of stay in almost like it's in the like town centre. if I center. can do it in bars, I can do it in the middle of nowhere. Mm. Yeah, so you can do that kind of in the town centre, just yeah. play for a little bit. Alright, so you're going to do that, we'll do shopping and I'll tell you how much you get. Okay. So, what, do you want to do anything in particular? I kind of just go off to the side a bit and... You know, start talking to the hybrid, and then I just like I name it naked. <laughs> so kind of, and I start teaching naked tricks and all that because he is like half it. owl, half cat. Yeah, so kind of spend some time with him and yeah. get let him get used to you and be comfortable with you, things like that. Okay, so you can do that. So we'll do the shopping first, and then we'll kind of bounce between. So we'll do yours first, Cliff. So, what's your first like kind of protocol you want to go with? Well, what I wanted to do was I wanted to go down to a few of the stalls and see if they had any like lock picking or like them smaller tools that mm-hmm. would help me with that. Yeah, they should have that. So, you can kind of just go down to any stall, and there's one that has like a bunch of different tools, whether it's lock picking, whether it's you know, like mining, or mm. there's a bunch of different tools you can get from there. Mm. So it de- there is two different types of lock picking ones. There is yeah. one that is like a one-time use one, or yeah. one that seems to be a bit stronger. Obviously, yeah. there's a price difference, so yeah. it's depending on get yeah, how much you want to spend. Yeah. But so yeah, it kind of, kind of depends what you want to do it for. Mm. Well, I would probably lead towards the more expensive one, considering I don't know the circumstances at the moment. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I would probably walk in there and see how I go. Yeah, so you can definitely do that. Cool. I'm just double checking. What tools do you have on you? Good question. As in just um, like any type of equipment? Yeah, you stuff? should have like, it's under tools. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. It's just, it says thieves tools. I'm pretty sure in thieves tool we have a set of lockpicks in there. 
Just, yeah, it should tell you on there, but if not, I can quickly look it up if you want. Yeah, it just says... Oh, hang on. Small file, a set of lock picks, a small mirror mounted on a metal handle. I have pliers? What the fuck? <laughs> no, you're stuck <laughs> Cool, so I would probably, yeah... Well, it doesn't say like, you know, the quality of lockpicks, mm -hmm. so I'm assuming they might just be like one use, like one time use. I would say just because of Sully and you know, like your backstory stuff, the yeah. way that it works, these would be a bit more like the expensive ones in a way because yeah. you've had them, but because you've used them a lot, it depends. It's kind of that weird. Yeah, they're kind of like maybe worn. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you can't have an extra set yeah, or anything yeah. like that. Mm. I was just saying yeah. that you do have it as well. Mm. Well, I'll go into the store and see how much they are. Um, yeah, yeah, and see if they have any other kind of things that kind of pique my interest. Okay, so what else is you want to look other than the lot picking? Mm. Well, there is, I do want to find other ways to kind of like, say, I don't know, smaller tools or even smaller weapons that will like, help me, like, say like, in battles and stuff like that. So even if it's like, you know like them sleeping darts and stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah, kind of. Mm. Tranquilizers. <laughs> yeah, true. So yeah, yeah kind of like yeah. your like, tiny weapons and yeah, all Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Tiny, tiny weapons. Tiny, tiny. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. so for lot picking, it costs for like the really expensive ones that would take ages to mm -hmm. wear down. They're quite expensive. Oh god, I'm thinking like 100 something. No, they're not that bad, but they're like 30 gold. That's your yeah, top tier. It's basically all my <laughs> But don't forget as well, you can haggle mm. and then as, just, as well to tell you, you are rogue, you can try and steal shit. That well, is not true. Yeah, I was debating about it. Like, mm -hmm. If you do that, then you just yell out Kaka and we <laughs> do <laughs> Like, you know, these are options. Obviously, you play as your character, but there is. Yeah. I mean, it does. Mm, it is depending on what you want to do. It does, yeah. Like, it depends on, like, you know. It sounds stupid. It doesn't really, but, like, it depends on, like, you know, how big is the shop, where is the, like, like where are the, like, picks located, mm -hmm. are there people sense? behind me? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. That kind of stuff. Well, I can tell you. So, basically, how it works is think of like a giant circle, right? Yeah. So you have all the different stalls kind of going in a circular format and then they go outwards. Yeah. So they're all like the wooden stalls. They're not like deep yeah. or anything, it's solely just like, what is an example? But like, yeah. <laughs> you have like a base, right? Yeah. It's That's it, the person standing there. Oh, so okay. it's not like any deep, it's literally like all the items are on display. Yeah, yeah. Things like that. Mm. So the one for the thieves, like tools or like the lot picking tools, they're kind of behind another row, so they're kind of in the back. Yeah. So it would be harder to see because it's not in like the inner circle, quote unquote. Yeah. But again, you know, there are people still walking around. It does depend what you, you know, how sneaky you are with your sleight of hand, which you can also check as well. Which is? It's under your skills. It's called sleight of hand. Which is your like dexterity. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, in between religion and stealth. Yeah, gotcha be difficult because I'm just trying to think like how would I get away with that without being like noticed but at the same time like I know call for a distraction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time like Quilla can use her tail as well like that is also an option as well so it, is. it just depends well hmm. so I haven't actually talked to the dude yet no you just kind of either like walking up to a kind of close they haven't mm. said anything to you because there's other customers there and distracting. yeah yeah so yeah i mean just imagine her just standing there staring <laughs> intensely as she thinks mm. yeah <laughs> yeah just very like i'm just deaf mm -hmm. all right well i'm going to walk up there and i'm going to look at um what's on the table mm -hmm. so say for example the lock picks are on the left side and i'll stand on the right yeah um and i'll just see and like strike up a conversation of what i'm interested in 
Okay. Yeah, no, you can do that. Cool. Yeah, so there's like lock picking tools are kind of on the left, mm. and then there's the two different versions. So obviously, yeah. you've got like the one time use, the good ones, and then you have like a card set. You have, it seems to be a lot of these tools are either for good for like picking mm. or deceiving people. It's kind of like your magician y type things. Yeah. So there's lots of those types of tools. I just had an idea. Cool. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a length, a small length off of the rope of mending, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go up to him and say, how much would you sell this for me? And this is if he has a closer look. Yeah. While he's distracted with that, I want to try and grab the lock picks. Okay. With either my tail, if that's cool. Yeah. So you want to like way. try with your tail? Yeah. Kind of like scoop it. And yeah. Yeah. your hands are While he's like, say, looking that way, I want to try and like wrap it around the other. Yeah. Way. So you can go up to him kind of talk to him. How much are you cutting off roughly? Mm, well, isn't it like because it's fifty 15, feet long? Yeah. yeah. So about fifteen meters. So I'm gonna say like, like I don't know. Like mm, I don't want to cut off a lot. I'll just say like three meters. Okay. Yeah. Yep, so you can kind of cut off, talk to him. He'll just be like, well, hi, Miss Stranger. What you got there? I was wondering how much I could get for this three meter rope of mending. Sure thing. And he'll pick it up and kind of look at it. He's mm. going to quickly go to the back, like kind of behind him, grab a tool to look closer. Yeah. So as he's doing that, are you. Yeah, I want to try and sneak the lock picks. Okay, because it is sleight of hand, so roll a d20, add your sleight of hand. Oh god. Be <laughs> nice because I've had <laughs> such bad luck with this. Or it should be like minus 12. <laughs> okay, well. 9. Nine. Okay. Uh, plus 4. Yeah, I added that. Oh, so oh you added your plus 1 to it? Yeah, so it's 8, but then okay. plus 1. Uh, uh, so. Oh, I'm not confusing. So oh. As you turn around, like as he turns around and kind of looks at it a bit closer, you just hear. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god! <laughs> he just kind of looks and goes, hmm, mm. stupid things falling off. <laughs> and just kind of puts it back and kind of stress, <laughs> brushes it off. And you, you kind know, of just like he quickly like grabs a brush and kind of quickly cleans the dust off of it. And goes, okay, they're good. And puts it back. And goes, yeah. sorry about that. Sometimes things just happen. Who knows? Mm. Anyway, okay, he's gonna keep looking at it a bit more and be like, mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, doesn't look like it's had any use, which is good. So I would say for this piece, four gold for it. Yeah, sounds like a deal. Sweet. I would do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you get four gold. All right. Cool. And then mark off <laughs> how much you just cut off of it. Three. Uh. Yeah. Three meters. So yeah. Then... Oh, yeah. So mark that off of your rope of mending now. Seventeen. All right. So what trick have you been trying to teach it? To, uh, it's weird, to run to safety, mm -hmm. and then come back. Okay, so kind yes. of doing the whole like, um, yeah, like, probably like, recall. Yeah, yeah, that's it, recall. Yeah, yeah. Like, go, 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 don't die, come back now. So you spent probably an hour kind of working on that, and it seems pretty good, because with the role mm -hmm. you got, it returns most of the time. There might be one or two times someone walks past and it just kind of sits there and looks, and patiently mm -hmm. waits. They walk past and then it comes up to you. But it's kind of doing that repetition with it. So it seems to be doing quite well. So yeah, you can kind of work on that. And then do you want to work on that for the other hour or do something different for something a little bit? Different. All right, what would you like to do for that one? I teach him how to pickpocket. All right, roll. <laughs> <laughs> roll another d20. <laughs> the bird has got hurt. In fact, someone has hurt. I just say, I'm so sorry about that. It's my bird. Roll another d20, add a um, animal handling. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. So, are you getting it to try it on yourself or on other people? Or for now, it is on myself, and I am giving like normal like reactions. Yeah. As to someone who would have something pickpocketed. Yeah, it's a bit hesitant, kind of at the beginning, because like in its in its head, like you're my own. Why, why am I doing this? This is stupid. You know, it's kind of like eh. I'm not gonna get him to fuck up on someone there. <laughs> yeah, but it's having that like difficulty of new owner. Why am I? A but after a minute, it, it kind of, it could, it just it's got like a gold nice. out, but it's like, you could feel it, but you just sound like, yeah, okay, we'll let that pass. Type of thing. We'll give you some confidence. You know what I mean? You're like, you know, when your kid's trying, like, good job. Yeah. Good, good. You're done. We'll, we'll put it on the fridge. 
Yeah, exactly. So, you know, X could do that, but you'd have to keep working with it. Mm. But yeah. And then. Yay! <laughs> you're getting there. Alright. For 2 hours. Omen, you'd get about 6 gold. And then, let's see how much silver. And you get uh, 20 silver with that. Nice. That's your little. Oh, thank you. Yes. So you have that. Everyone has been sorted for that amount. And then. As this is kind of all happening, because this is the. You can hear. Everyone can hear this, but the town crier kind of announces. Tournament in 10 days. Keep on training, and we'll see you at the Mum's Den. The dungeon is open. Y'all can keep fighting. Don't die too much. And then it kind of will repeat that as it moves around. But you'll hear that at certain points during the two hours. It's like a film. <laughs> you know, how they like run morning, around. Chris Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, New covers. Yeah, essentially. Think of it like that. So, you know that there's going to be a tournament in 10 days. There's a dungeon that you can all go into and fight. Yeah. You have a bunch of different yeah. things. And it's completely up to you. So there is a tavern you can stay at, so then you have somewhere to stay for the night, or you can stay outside. Up to you. you obviously don't know what it's going to be like because you've never been here. Yeah, but... I'm going to the tavern. Agreed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I need a drink. All right. So you go into the tavern. It's called Inner Mines. So you know, walk in and you see there is an kind of like similar to you, Omen and Bird Creature, but this one's more of an owl, and it just kind of looks at you, and it doesn't speak anything, but you hear in your head, like, Welcome. Oh. Welcome to Inner Minds. Welcome. Ah! From Tundra. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> but it just, it doesn't speak, it just kind of looks at you and says it. Hmm. That's creepy. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> and just goes, Food, room, drink, or all of the above? Room. Room? Mm. All in one? Two? What's the split? Um, are we all staying in one room? I can take the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you if you want to have all in one room or if you want to have two rooms next to each other. Do you have, how much do you have to pay? For a room it depends again how many nights you're staying. So. I think that's weird. Mm. It's, oh, are we staying for the 10 days? I don't know. Are you staying for the 10 days? <laughs> oh. If you get, how much would it cost? For 10 days. Um. Give me a second. <laughs> well, it'd be five silver per room and then per day. So. <laughs> so it'd be 50 silver if you're going to do the 10 days. Do you have a tent? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, question, yeah, like, y'all got a balcony because we can all fit in one room and I can be on the balcony. Well, again, it depends on the room. That's for a, that's for, like, a comfortable room, so that would probably fit all of you in. Depends, because obviously some of you guys are a bit taller and bigger, so yeah. it'd be <laughs> a little bit difficult, <laughs> but, like, and you'd be fine, you'd be like, ah, room. So, it's kind of up to you guys, again, if you want to stay in one room or... You know, camp it out. I mean, if Depends. we did share one room, we could just split the money. Mm, that is true. You can do that. Uh, how much is that in gold? So, uh, five gold. Okay. Because, yeah, 50 silver, 10. Who's yeah, playing the one extra? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I don't have the money to do that. This no, morning. Morning. <laughs> oh. So, I will say this as well, just kind of outside of that. If you were to do other things like you know, be in the dungeons or stuff like that, you could spend nights in there, which make it cost less in the rooms. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to, you could just say like, okay, tonight we're gonna stay in like, you know, the tavern. All right, so then it will cost this much. You don't have to pay it all up front. You can kind of just say like, all right, we're gonna spend, you know, we're gonna time travel the next two days. <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> you know what I mean? You could time travel the next two days. Okay, so then you're gonna be in the tavern too. So you don't have to all pay it now. It's up to yeah, you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, in the current situation, mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna say Quillis isn't with the other others at the moment. Yeah. Because I'm gonna add on more stuff, but it just depends on what you guys are doing at the moment. Yeah. She just buys a little tent. <laughs> <laughs> she buys a pet room. Just a like, swag. Ah. Just, just a swag, and is like mm. sleep. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, because you know you can also do like 
patrols like of the room and stuff like that so then you don't have to in case someone tries to come in kidnap you murder you stuff like that oh, but you have that option so you don't have to all sleep in the one room at once it's more of you can have rotations or things like that it's yeah, depending yeah. of course yeah but yeah, yeah so it's one night so if anything you can take it in shifts but you can sleep during the day leave before the night yeah, so if you wanted to do even just one night and see, that's only five silver. So check out is that ten <laughs> You will hear when checkout happens because it'll be dun dun dun. Mm -hmm. no. So it's up to you guys. I mean, it's pretty cheap to just pay for all the days in mm. bulk. Yeah. Well, no, because you don't get a discount. Well, we're gonna get a discount. Yeah. No, 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 it's not cheap because if we do spend a night in the dungeon buying something, getting shit to sell. In the end, it's just, you're spending money. Not all of us can find dungeons. Mm, well, that's if, yeah, if you don't want to, like, join on the dungeon, then you can be like, I'll be good, guys. Mm. Yeah. Do you? I'm in the mood to fight. I'll join the dungeon. No? Yeah. <laughs> I've still got one question. Mm. Well, it hasn't worked up yet, so. Yeah. 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 So you guys. To the dungeon. <laughs> to the dungeon. <laughs> so are you gonna, you three, so all of you heading to the dungeon, or having a drink first, or kind of kicking it out? I've still got like that alcohol bottle. You still do have the alcohol, yes. Is there a show happening right now in the dungeon, or is it just empty? Uh, right now it just seems to be one of those places you go in, kind of fight, get your. It's almost like mining experience in a way. Go there, get experience, get some stuff to sell. It's just more, you know, become stronger so then you're ready for the tournament, essentially. Mm. I mean, I have the tongue ass here. I can throw anything in, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. But I yeah. think I might, yeah, I might go to, go to the dungeon. Because mm -hmm. if anything, we can sleep and patrol. Yeah. So, two dungeons. Oh, well, I'm going to go to the dungeon. That's yeah. me. Mm. I'll go dungeon. If we're doing patrol, I'll go on the dungeon too. Right. So for now, we'll just say you guys are kind of talking in the tavern, and then we'll cut over to Quillis. Mm. Well, Sing. <laughs> yeah. well, within that time, I kind of want to do a perception check on like the dungeon and the arena, mm -hmm. or is that too far? I mean, they're two separate things, but you can mm. walk around and kind of look at mm. it, that's fine. So, which one do you want to do first? Mm, I want to have a suss of the arena. Mm -hmm. so. so are you going outside or inside of it? Outside. Mm -hmm. You can definitely do that. Cool. So you can do a perception check for me. Please. <laughs> Give me a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Give me a second. Five. <laughs> That's all good. It's, it's a big structure in front of you. You can see what it is. It's, <laughs> you know, you know what that is. Like my big baby. It, it kind of reminds you of like in our terms, kind of like the Colosseum, mm -hmm. like a big yeah. structure. Lot you can kind of see from like peeking here and there. There's like rows of like chair, like not chairs, but even like built-in benches in a way. Yeah. This is definitely seems to be a town where everyone kind of trains, eats, drinks. Yeah. Goes to this tournament once every. Mm -hmm. it feels very systematic. Yeah, and then they fight. Whoever wins gets the big prize of mm -hmm. that, and then whatever it is. You can talk to some of the guards that are kind of standing around it to get more information on how the whole tournament works. It's up to you. But um, yeah, that's what you can kind of see from there. It is all like sandstone. It's all very that like whitish beige yeah. color. Very much fitting Ooh. in the whole like no. theme. <laughs> that's what I think. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Yeah. But like yeah, kind of fitting in the whole theme of like if the structures weren't there, mm. like all the like, wooden ones, you almost think that it's just all sand. It all yeah. almost blend in. Mm. It's almost like a place where if for somehow you could fly over the top, it'd be hard to see what's what. Yeah, it all kind of blends in in a way. Mm, okay. Yes. Camouflage. Yeah, all the buildings kind of camouflage with each other. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I might leave that, but then do a perception check on the dungeon and see if that's any better. Yeah. So yeah. again, do you want to do a perception check on the outside or kind of a little bit inside, kind of like peeking on the inside? inside. Well, inside. a little bit on the inside. Yeah. Yep. So you can do either perception or investigation. I feel like by that point, like, like maybe we would have already been starting to walk down mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, um, please. This is a different one now. <laughs> Praise. So I'll do an investigation check on it. Oh. If I can see the number. Oh. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Um, well, I really don't want you knowing what's in there. Hang on, I'll adapt it. It's five, again. <laughs> well, there's a door there. <laughs> You're having a bit of difficulty, kind of. Okay, basically, you can see that there's a door and it kind of leads down. Mm -hmm. You don't know, like, how, like, what it is, but you can kind of hear some things, but it just sounds like other people kind of fighting or. Yeah. It does seem very systematic in how things work because most dungeons you don't go in. There isn't like a door you could go into, but yeah. this one seems very most routine based. Yeah. So even with that, you can tell like even just entryway, wooden door seems pretty clean on the inside. You'd have to kind of go down. Good to know. To see what the dungeon's like. It's yeah. Just a dark alleyway. <laughs> you know, that is up to you. But yeah. So yeah. What do you want to do next? Well, I think. To be honest, like I reckon I would eat the one day of like rations mm -hmm. um, and then probably go down to the dungeon. Okay, so you're just going to go straight down without Ooh. the group? Because <laughs> we're kind of already on our way, just walking. We're not there yet. I I'd say I would make my way down, but surely you like... Down, down. Huh? Sorry, continue. No, I'm <laughs> making my way down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I would make my way down and I'm... Um, Sure that these we would run into each other. Yeah. Like I wasn't going here because you wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not hearing anything about that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cool. All right. So you guys can kind of head down, and I have it printed, but I'll send it to you guys in chat, and then she can just show you. But mm -hmm. um. I have a. That was not me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I'm like it had to was not to be. But you will get a map of what the actual dungeon looks like. Okay. Because it is made. Um, I'll put it in the group chat really quick. That is all the Um, so yeah, you can kind of see what the. Uh, mm, actually, no, I won't send it because it'll make sense later. Anyway, so when you go in, you can see this. So you're going just straight into the first room. Yes. Yeah. So first room is kind of big empty room with what well, looks like some like crates and stacks kind of on the side. Clearly this seems to be a room where people kind of get ready, figure out what they're doing mm, okay. before kind of going in next. And so as you're in this room, there's probably about the same time you'd bump into the rest of your group. So you're all together. So you can kind of make it my way. How fortunate. <laughs> How fortunate. <laughs> so yeah, you all can kind of meet up and discuss what is going to happen next. Lovely. I feel like I would cast um, detect magic. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Oh, stuff. oh found it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, cast Detect Magic on the arena. On the arena itself, so before coming into the dungeon? or Yeah, just to see if it's like a, like a trap or something. Yeah, no, you can do that. So, I'm just trying to remember if, like, how, can you, does it say on there, like, the range? I don't know if it's on there. Um, no, give me a second. Range is 30 foot. Okay. Speed. Yep. So. So from the arena itself, there is no like magic or anything like that. There is a little bit of magic coming from the guards around them. So you just from, because you can see a little bit of an aura around it. It seems to be mainly just like the weapons. So either. You know, there's an, a magic charm mm. to the weapons or kind of to the armor. You're not entirely sure, but it doesn't seem like anything is magical from the arena itself. Mm. The structure is more fine. Again, it's a bit bigger than the 30 feet, but you get a majority of it. It's not the actual structure that's magical. Okay. But yeah. And my chaotic is kicking in because I'm like really excited to fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to get more money, to be fair. Mm. Get something off of them, sell it. Yeah. Alright, so doing that, you've made it into the dungeon. Is there anything you want to do to kind of prep for the going into the dungeon? Um, not really. Um, um, I might get naked to kind of. <laughs> I might get naked! Yeah. Oh, that's why I named him, because it's like, I'm just going to go get naked. <laughs> I'm going to get naked to. Um, Stay nearby the entrance of the dungeon, but I'm gonna get him to kind of just go off and into like the nearby corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's and some like little like trees, trees kind of so he can shield some fresh air and so he don't get injured. 
Yeah, so he's kind of like watchdogging it. Yeah. Around. Mm. All right, is there anything you want to do, Aiden? Um, I'll just prepare for bed. Yeah? Yeah. So you're going to do that before kind of joining them to go into the... Um, dungeon because they're going into the dungeon. So they're going to fight. Ask them. We don't know what yeah. we're up against. So. That's why yeah, I sent Neko away going in with the full intention of fighting what's in there. As long as I definitely know it will not kill me. If there's a chance, then yeah. I will. Um, I'll follow in, but I'll hang back. I will stay on the bleachers and watch from afar. Just to spectate and be like, okay. Just want like a little flag. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ten points. <laughs> well, like, if I'm on medical standby, basically. Yeah. So right now you're kind of in like, almost like the meeting area, so kind of before going in. So if you wanted to as a group, kind of take a short rest. So that's just an hour rest, kind of like while you're figuring things out. Yeah. So essentially so. that's, if any of you are low, which I don't think any of you are, but you can roll hit dice. Some of you, you can click the button on short rest and it should do it for you mm. but um oh, okay but yeah so you can do that and then get ready to go into the dungeon which we will do next episode so that will be Ooh, happening fun. next so yeah. you'll have the maps printed out and we'll actually use your figures and move you around so yes, yes so i'm excited for that so thank you all so much for tuning in <laughs> this was more of like a just kind of getting through everything and getting through the motions but next episode is going to be a lot of things happening so i'm excited to see and possible special guests we'll see oh, no. <gasps> possible really that'll be fun well it's either this one <laughs> well we've got a couple lined up so we'll see but yeah. mm -hmm. thank you all so much for tuning in <laughs> tuning in, tuning in. <laughs> And we'll see you all next week. Cool. Bye. 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 <laughs> Good job, team. Oh, so that's when they come in. Then. You don't know. So no. are we fighting monsters or people? You don't know. Oh. What?